Assalamu alaikum dear engineers in this uh, video I will explain how to model a steel shed using Tecla structural designer and how to analyze and design all structural numbers including concrete footings also this is the main screen of the program and uh, first we'll go to new file after that we'll go to model setting and from model setting we can select the design code and from this list we can select any code we are working on for me I will select the ACI code and go to the units also I'll select the metric units then click OK after that we will set our grids by going to model then from the grid list we will go to rectangular wizard and by clicking we will get this window for the grid setting from here you can select the color any color you want and the, here the base at uh, zero, 00 level next here the origin zero, 00 then next next and here the number of bays between the grids I will select 5 bays at 6 meter spacing I will keep it same and here the alphabetic numbering then next in the other direction in the y direction I will use two bays at 7.5 meter and a numeric numbering the next next then finish like this we are setting our grids and we will proceed to the next step and by clicking on the portal frame icon here we are getting the properties window and by clicking on two points on the first grid on grid A the first point this is the second point we will get this window including all the uh, setting for the portal frame and as you see here the type of the portal frame and the length these are the types of the portal frame we'll select the standard type and going to edit we are getting this window and here the level of the eave I will consider it as 5 and here by giving the slope or the rise we can decide the level of the ridge I will give the rise as 1 meter then click OK then going to values OK then the base will be at 0 level both sides then going to the hunches these are the hunches at the eaves both eaves and the ridge line uh, this is the length of the hunch and the depth also at the eave and then at the apex we have 0.75 at the apex from both sides left and right side and then the other side the right side eave and here we have the section of the hunches then we'll go to the rafters and these are the section of the rafter we can select from here any section then the columns sections also we can select the column sections from here and by clicking OK we are getting this portal frame like this as you see okay next we'll start copy this frame to the other grids by selecting the frame right click copy then pick the base point and then pick the other points on the other grids like this we are getting copy of all frames okay next we will create the strut between the frames by selecting the beam we are getting the property window this is the property window for the beams 
and as you see here, here this is the grade of the steel and here the shape of the beam or the section we can select a rectangular hollow section then select then we'll go to select the section itself from here we can select the new section going to rectangular hollow section I will select 101.6 by 4.8 then select and going to the end condition of the beams as it is set we have to be sure that both ends are pinned it will take only axial force then click the eave points like this from point to point we are getting the beams the strut beams in between the frames next we will copy these strut beam beams to the other eave side so by selecting the struts like this then uh, right click copy then pick the base point like this and pick the other point so like this we are copying the strut beams to the other eave side then we have to connect also the ridge points by strut beam again select the struts like this then right click copy then pick the base point then the other point like this we are getting struts connecting connected between all points next we'll create the bracing come to brace select x bracing and this is the property window from the property window also there is a steel grade as it is a tension member we will select uh, high grade I will select grade 60 then the section we can select a new section I will select round hollow section yes uh, this one round HSS select then select the section itself from a new we can go to round section I will select the 88.9 by 4.8 select and proceed of course I will select the tension only because tension number then by clicking on the corner points of the bay we are creating the X bracing like this clicking the corners like this one two three four then we will copy this bracing to the other side select the bracing right click copy and pick the base point and the other side point so like this we are creating the X bracing for the walls now we'll create for the roof the same again we'll go to X bracing then same property pick the corners for the roof bay like this same as for the walls pick the corners and we are creating the roof bracing very easy select the corner points again like this very easy and also we can select and copy paste the X bracing also the, the other side so like this we are creating all the X bracing for the walls and the roof next we will start creating the roof panel click on roof panel then 
on the end points for the eave and the ridge like this again the first point we are creating the roof panel then from the other side click the end points for the eave and the ridge like this the end points then the first point like this we are creating the roof panel the next will create the wall panel from this wall panel click then also the corners again to the first point and the other side also like this very easy we are cre creating the wall panels side wall then the end wall also click on the corner points again the first point so like this very easy we are creating the end wall panels okay now we finish our module structure and after that we will save the module so click on save and give name for the module save next step we will create the loading go to the load and load cases we will get this window these are all the default load cases in the program and as you see we have live load roof live load and the snow actually I will delete the snow load it was not required and I need only the roof live load so I will create roof live load only and change here to roof live load from the list so these are the required load cases okay then now from the down list of the loading we can activate any loading to give the exact value of the loading from this list uh, I will select dead load and as you see the icons above are activated for the area load and level load other other loading so I will select area load and here the list I will change to 0.5 kN per cubic meter for the dead load and by clicking on the roof just put the mouse and the click now the roof loaded with the dead load then again from the list I will select the roof live load again from area load I will use the value as 0.6 or uh, we can use uh, 1 kN per meter square as a roof live load click on the roof like this we create the dead and roof live load now we will create the wind load from wind wizard click on this icon we are getting this window and there is two method as per the code and I will select the rigid building method next these are all the information the ground level the base at zero zero the orientation at zero zero and mean roof height five meter and other information and the eccentricity as you see I will I will take the eccentricity as five percent next and here the basic wind velocity I'll take it as 45 meter per second and other factors the ghost factor directional factor and the enclosure here if the building is open and here all the factors required for the topography and other next and also from the details we can see all the equations and other details created for the wind loading close then finish 
and now we are going to wind load cases from this icon select auto then select plus x plus y minus x minus y then ok and as you see all the load cases for the wind have been created and from the list you can check also here now going to the combination we will create the loading combinations click on generate and here delete all the previous ok next and we are working on LRFD so I will delete the other combinations keep only the LRFD combinations then next and next and here we will select all these cases and click OK we are getting all the load combinations then OK and from this list I can remove the loading from the roof in the view only so up to this point dear engineers now our model is ready for uh, analysis uh, we will complete inshallah in the next video the analysis and design of the all structural elements including the foundations thank you for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh